Hello YouTube and fellow Star Wars collectors! On this episode of Toys Are The Way, we'll be taking a look at all my Athorian Hammerhead customs. If you're new to the channel or a fan of Star Wars collecting, be sure to smash a like on this video, remember to subscribe, and make sure to ring that bell to stay notified. So as you can see, I've been very productive when it comes to making these alien characters. I think I have a pretty good process when it comes to making these customs, and I'm very happy with the results. If you're interested in making this figure yourself, I have a tutorial on my channel showing the step-by-step -step process. Hopefully one day we can see Hammerhead in the Vintage Collection. He's part of the original 96, an essential figure to our collections. Also, the Athorians are such an iconic alien species in the Star Wars universe. But with that being said, let's take a closer look at these figures. Here we have my very first Athorian custom. This mercenary is loyal to no one and roams the Outer Rim in search of the next big score. Composed of 3D printed parts provided by Scoundrel Stock and a spare Force Awakens fin, this figure is now a force to be reckoned with. Despite the outdated ball joints of the base figure, this Athorian can strike a number of action poses. Taking a look at my first custom, he looks pretty neat and still holds up compared to the others. This one was a really fun experiment and I'm glad that I figured out the whole process, you know, with making this figure. Taking a look, he has some pretty good weathering and I repainted the Force Awakens fin to just give it an overall different look. And it's really amazing to see what you can do with a figure that, you know, maybe people weren't too excited about or you have some extras of these sitting around for some reason, you know, you can make yourself a very unique alien figure. Um, so this figure doesn't have the most updated leg articulation, doesn't have a swivel at the thigh, but as you can see, he does have some really good range of motion. So that's some great stuff and really adds to, you know, the posing ability of this figure. Unfortunately, the 3D printed parts from Scoundrel Stock for the arms do not have wrist articulation. So, you know, he's got the basic uh, shoulders and elbows and, you know, I can turn stuff but you can't really move his wrist, unfortunately. And that's just the uh, unfortunate downside of using that 3D printed part. Maybe one day he'll have an option where you can like, you know, have a rotating wrist, but it is definitely a bit tricky to get it at this scale and not have it like uh, be too brittle. But regardless, he can still do what I need him to do, which is be a great background character. He can hold a blaster in his hand and you know, yeah, this is just a, another good one to have in your background. Taking a closer look, you can see I did a pretty decent job at painting his eyes despite not using the blue tape method that I show in my tutorial. So it can be done, but I will definitely say it was a bit challenging. I also really like that I added this uh, spare Death Trooper bandolier and pauldron to him. I think it really adds a unique, interesting look and, you know, it's just borrowed assets, which we see a lot in the Star Wars universe. So yeah, this is a fantastic start to my collection and really paved the way for making all these Athorian figures. This new face can be seen lurking the industrial sector of my spaceport diorama known as Polonium Port. Outfitted with a voice box, this Athorian bounty hunter is able to communicate with all potential clients. Fashioned together from an older Saga collection Bosque, the figure is still capable of a number of action poses despite the primitive leg articulation. Be on the lookout for this new cunning warrior. Hopefully you checked out my tutorial where I show the process step by step for making this custom. I really like this guy. There's just something about this flight suit that's so iconic in the Star Wars universe. You know, seeing Bosk with it and then seeing several patrons in the Mos Eisley Cantina with similar outfits. You know, I just really wanted to have an Athorian wearing this outfit. So he looks really cool. You can see that I've added lots of weathering to really dirty this figure up and make him look like he's been out in the galaxy doing a lot of different jobs. So all in all, this is what I really wanted to have an Athorian with this look. Um, he does have limited mobility because, you know, this is older Saga Collection boss with just the swivel hips, but you know, he does have ball jointed knees, so he can do a number of poses. And once again, he doesn't have the articulated wrist, but that's okay, because I just want him to be able to hold a blaster and point it if need be. All in all, a great addition to my collection. A creative take on the character Baldaga from the Clone Wars Season 4, this Athorian gun for hire comes fully loaded with all the articulation and weaponry one would need to survive roaming the slums of my diorama. Pulled and assembled from the infamous Lando Calrissian figure that we all know and love, this new addition to my collection is now an instant favorite among my scum and villainy. 
Now this Athorian is definitely turning out to be one of my favorites out of the bunch, and it's mostly because of the articulation. This figure, as you can see, was once a Lando Calrissian, which we all know and love. Some people say it's a peg warmer. I say that it's a great start to a new figure. So what I did here was basically slice the Lando arms and then super glue some Marauders forearms to like lengthen the forearm to be more, you know, that proper Athorian length. And then, you know, I took the Lando hand and just put it into that peg. So he has the longer arms, but the nice thing about this figure is he does have wrist articulation. So he's got all the articulation that I would want in a figure. I had to, you know, do the best that I could here to like um, cover up the surgery, if you will. So I took this extra little strap that's actually from the ATST driver harness, cut it to size, wrapped it around, super glued it, and then painted it green to kind of match his outfit and just, you know, cover up all those surgical scars. But I think it looks really good. You know, that's just like very, very fluid and doesn't look like a very Frankenstein operation going on here. I then gave him a vest from Marauders as well with a bunch of pouches on it just to, you know, not make it look like he's wearing a Lando shirt. So that looks really nice. And then, you know, I just painted this whole color scheme to be a little bit more cohesive and gave it a nice dirty wash. And here we have a very nice figure. And, you know, if you're familiar with Lando, he's got some pretty good articulation. So this guy can do a number of different poses and he's not limited by swivel hips or anything like that. Doesn't have rocker ankles. Can't do that with these 3D printed parts, but he can definitely hold his own. So that's something that I've been very excited about when it comes to this figure. And it really sets him apart from the other ones, having wrist articulation and just, you know, arms that can really interact and do what I need him to do. Taking a look at the details of this figure, you can see he's got some really nice paint applications that I had to use a safety pin just to put that red ink in those glasses. So that was a delicate process, but it worked out pretty well. And you can see I've weathered him throughout, just giving him that really rundown and, you know, just dirty Star Wars appearance. So definitely very happy with this figure. Ithorians are generally known as a peaceful species, but the galaxy is a dangerous place and one has to be ready to put up a fight. This desert wanderer may not seem heavily armed, but don't let it fool you, his skills are unmatched. Constructed from a damaged vintage collection Tusken Raider, this simple custom carries decent articulation and is an excellent addition to my collection. Now this was a costume that I definitely knew I wanted to add to my collection, just like a desert wanderer of Thorian and having this Tusken Raider that was damaged really proved to be useful. Um, this was one that like the wrist broke off when I was trying to boil and pop that whole situation with the Tusken Raiders that we got recently where their joints were kind of stuck. So he was, I was going to fix it with a Marauders um, spare hands that you can order, but um, I figured I'll probably get some more of these Tuskens and why not try something different? So of course I cut his forearm a little shorter just to make it the proper length and then glued that Athorian arm onto it. So all in all that really, you know, saved the day and allowed me to make this custom figure, which the rest of them is just, you know, the sand person and some surgeries. So same thing here, cut it to size as you've seen in my tutorial and then just weathered everything up. Uh, additionally, I gave him this backpack from Queel. Um, all that is, is I cut off the peg and then filled this with some putty, allowing it to be modular because I didn't really want to Dremel a hole into this figure and just go through that whole process. So rather than doing that, I rather just, you know, have things be a little easier and still modular. So if I want to take that off and have a different look with this Athorian, I can do so. Or he can have his backpack and wander to the deserts of Tatooine or any other planet. But all in all, this guy's pretty great. I once again wish he had some wrist articulation because that would really help in some fighting stances with his staff. But as you can see, he can definitely hold his own. So another great addition to the collection and I can't wait to make some more of these types of figures. I hope you've enjoyed this video and taking a look at all of these custom figures. Be sure to drop a like on this video, remember to subscribe, and feel free to share your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks everyone and may the force be with you.